guys, it's Alicia and welcome back to my channel. So a while back I did a video about some of my favorite historical updos. Today I'm going to be talking about some of my favorite historical dresses. I have quite a few so I'm going to go through them pretty rapidly. The first one is from A Beauty So Rare by Tamara Alexander. It is just this beautiful, huge dress. It kind of looks like it borders on a robe, which I actually kind of like. I think it's really fun and I would totally love to have a dress like this. The next one is The Invention of Sarah Cummings by Olivia Newport and this is just this gorgeous dress with all these designs. The next one is From This Moment by Elizabeth Camden and again it's just got all of these intricate beading designs and it kind of looks like the previous dress a little bit but I think that this is really fun and I love when dresses have um, really interesting designs on them. Next is actually a cover that is all dress and that is The Lace Maker by Laura France. And I think that, I mean the snippet that we see of this dress is really beautiful. I love the color and I love the design of the lace and I love the sleeves so 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 much. So I think this would probably be a gorgeous dress as a whole and I would have loved to see the dress that the um, publisher used for that cover shoot. The next one is from After a Fashion by Jen Toronto. This is just a fun striped dress which lends to Harriet Peabody's fun personality and it you get a little bit of a snippet on the back as well, the front. Uh, not sure if you guys can see it very well but there's also flowers down the front of her dress and I would love to have this dress in my possession. I think it would be so, so fun to wear to parties, to church, to whatever. I think it would be fun to recreate a look like that, just out of the ordinary. Next is a Change of Fortune by Jen Toronto, and this one is actually very simple, but I love it. And it's just this great dress. It's probably what one would consider a service dress at the time, but it just has a little lace at the top, and it just has a little lace at the um, wrist, but I just think it's very pretty in its simplistic way. The next book I'm going to talk about is technically a cape and not so much a dress, but I just love this cover so much. And that is The Silent Governess by Julie Clausen. There's something about the cape in this cover with the sleeves and it just leads to this dark, interesting, mysterious cover. And now I really want a cape. Somebody buy me a cape. The next one is actually the book that inspired this uh, video and it's actually from the author who inspired hair video and this video. Uh, and that is the dress from A Tailor Made Bride by Karen Whitmire. I'm a part of Karen's Facebook group and she recently was talking about hairstyles, historical hairstyles on book covers and dresses and it totally inspired me to sit down and find my favorite dresses and my favorite hairstyles that were updos for the historical covers. But, of course, I had to include this book because look at this dress. Oh my word, if I could have one dress from any cover, I think it would be this dress. There's just something about it, and now I really wanna reread this book. Oh my goodness, it's so beautiful, and I just, I love the color, I love the design, I love the print, it's just so stinking cute. Next one is The Dress from the Innkeeper of Ivy Hill by Julie Clausen. And this, again, is one that's kind of simple, but it's just this long dress in a dark, I want to say it's a green color, but it kind of looks gray at the same time. I'm not entirely sure. But it's just this long dress with a really pretty ruching design, design down the back and a little bit of lace in at the back as well. You guys probably can't see it very well, but it is there if you look closely in the in person and I really enjoy the length of the sleeves and just I think it's green the green to cream ratio that is in the dress is just really pretty and the last book that I'm going to be talking about in this video is another one from the author who inspired it because she has some gorgeous dresses on her covers and that is from no other will do by Karen Whitmire and it is just this gorgeous simple like walking suit but it's got the maroon to blue ratio and I just really really love it it's so pretty and another dress I would totally kill for I would definitely wear something like this nowadays I 
hope you guys enjoyed seeing some of my favorite historical dresses. There's just something about them on the covers that always makes me smile. And I would love to know what is one of your favorite historical covers with one of your favorite historical dresses. Please let me know in the comment section below. Again, if you would like to see some of my thoughts on other dresses or other clothing on other genres of books, please let me know. I would love to make them for you. As always, you can check out my blog, for the love of Christian fiction .com, and you can also check out my Instagram, which is for the love of Christian fiction. All my other links are in the description box below, and I think that's it. I'll see you guys next week. Bye!